So today I'm going to show you how to take your own design, your basic image, and turn it into something very realistic. Um, this gives you a lot of control over the AI software. It lets you design what you want to see instead of just letting the AI guess what you want. So we're going to get started today. Um, I'm going to do one from scratch here. I think I'm going to do, um, let's do a six wheeled vehicle. Um, I think maybe we'll go towards like the Mad Max look today. So basically here we're in Photoshop. You can use any editor you want, um, Canva or any of your paint softwares just to get your designs. Um, we don't have to go overboard on the details. There are a few things we want to add in so that, you know, the AI knows what we're supposed to be representing here. So we're going to make this drawing and then we're going to take it over to focus. I'm going to speed this part up here. Um, I'm doing a pretty basic drawing. You don't even have to do it this detailed. It can be a lot less, but uh, I like to just get a little head start that way. So now we're over into Fucus. Um, we're going to use the prompt Mad Max Universe tank, six wheeled, um, heavy tread, old piece together, dirty, dense, rust, etc. I'm going to set it to very subtle and uh, I'm going to set my image number down to one. I don't need any more than that. Um, over on the style tab, we're going to go ahead and check uh, hyper realism and photograph. Um, we're going to uh, just drop in that image that we made over in Photoshop and we're going to run it here a couple of times. And the whole purpose of running it here like this is we're letting the AI tie together the uh, geometry and smooth things out. And then we're going to take it back over to Photoshop here in a second. Once again, I'll speed up here so you don't have to wait on this, but each one of these images took about 30 seconds. And in this process, every time you get a generated image, you want to drag that down as your image prompt. Always use the image that you generate as your prompt. So now over here in Photoshop, I found myself a nice desert picture, something that looks like, you know, it would be out of Mad Max. And we're going to uh, put our image on that background. I'm going to reduce my image just a little bit. Um, I don't want it to be, you know, overwhelming the entire picture. I want it to have a little bit of scope to it. Um, so anyway, we delete that white background out. Now, one thing we're going to do here is we are going to, uh, add a new layer and add a shadow underneath this vehicle. Um, that'll make a big difference in telling the AI to tie these pictures together. It eventually will do it on its own. If, if you aren't able to make a shadow and this just will speed the process up dramatically. So we're going to save that image and we're going to go back over to Fucus. Now over here in Fucus, we're going to add just a little bit to our prompt. We're going to put the word hyper-realistic at the very beginning here. That's telling it that we want it to be an, you know, an extremely real image. And then we're going to come down and we're going to uh, drop that image that we just uh, comped over in, in Photoshop. And we're going to drop that in as our prompt. And we're going to run that a couple of times here. And like I said, these take about 30 seconds a piece. I have a, an RTX 3070. So, I mean, you know, if you have a 3090 or bigger, it's going to go even faster. Um, but it, it's really not a bad process. But we're going to drag this down from the top uh, two or three times and see what we end up with. Because now that we've added the background to it, you're going to see the details really start to jump on this. Now this is starting to look pretty good. It has more of a tank look to it and I'm going for more of a Mad Max vehicle. So we're going to run it a few more times, but you can already see the rust and the dirt and how it's starting to look pretty real. Now right here is a step that you absolutely do not have to do. I'm going to be uh, dropping in a refiner here. Um, it's called Realistic Vision and I picked it up um, over there on the website Civitai. Um, this refiner is just uh, designed to give things a more realistic photographic look. Like I said, you don't have to have this, but if you want to get it, you can jump over there to their website and I'll leave you a link to their website in the description. And we're going to run it a couple more times here. Now you can see we've got a, a pretty cool vehicle here. This definitely has that old Mad Max look to it. Um, some kind of just thrown together vehicle with a cannon mounted on the front. 
Um, I think I'm going to run it one more time just to get a little bit more out of it. This is like anything else. You have to know when to stop. And typically I don't know when to stop, but luckily, uh, Fucus saves all of our images for us. So if I go too far, I can always go back and get one of those. And there you go. That's how we go from a drawing to our, uh, our, our new scene, our Mad Max scene. And like I said, you, you basically designed this vehicle and you set it up the way you wanted it. So this is a lot of fun. Um, I hope this, uh, helps some people out. Um, if, if, if not, or you know a way we can do it better, drop us a comment. Um, we'd appreciate a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.